Hey guys, we're back in our uh, first floor restroom looking at our uh, 3 ton uh, heat pump here. Does the uh, atrium area in front of the restrooms. Um, been here before. Uh, replaced a couple of bad electrical components, control transformer and blower relay. I also replaced this fan capacitor. Uh, maybe three, four months ago. I don't know. Maybe a little longer. Anyways, um, the capacitor is blown again. I've got zero microfarads on it. And uh, so uh, this fan motor, as it's not grounded either, which is kind of kind of what I expected. It was strange. But it's not grounded. Um, checked it with the mega meter even, and it's fine. Um, but as you can see, see the bearings have gone. So this motor has mechanically failed. Um, that should be spinning nice and freely right now. Uh, so that was, I'm sure, causing it to draw more amps than normal and uh, blow the capacitor. So uh, uh, rather than uh, mess with this, we're just going to replace this fan motor so I don't have to get back up here again. Because it's really hard to get to. I take the supply deck down and everything. It's a real mess to get up there. So we're going to replace it. A new capacitor, new motor. Um, so I'm going to take this thing, or we'll set it on my cart, or we'll take it up to the shop and I'll pull it off. Got my handy dandy puller kit over here. Get myself some ultimate puller, my favorite. Uh, so we'll take this turkey apart and uh, slam it back in there. Try this again. Uh, we're out here in the equipment yard with this uh, blower housing and motor and wheel. And uh, we're gonna do is uh, put the puller to it, and take uh, take the old motor out, so we can put our our new one. Um, so the first thing you gotta do, I uh, sprayed it with penetrating oil already. That you PV blaster, anything will work though, any brand. And you gotta take this little block nut or uh, bolt loose. Make sure it's not making. You don't need to take it all the way out. Just make sure it's not. actually you do to get the puller on there. Excuse me. Take that out. And then uh, you might you might wipe that off. You might not. It doesn't really matter. Um, so then set that up right there. Take your puller. Loose here. Uh, you want to spray some of that on the threads of your puller too. I wonder if the chiller's just drowning out everything I'm saying. I don't, I don't know about that. It's possible. It's a pretty loud machine, man. Yeah, I'll loosen all of these up. And open. I'm ready to set the shaft. sand them to get them off. Uh, so this is an indoor motor, so that's less of a problem. If it's a condenser motor, you can really, really be the total. So I'm going to use Okay. All three of them are going to do it. Nice and even. Alright, 
the recorder if it's on here, I believe. Also, it's recorder on the top. That's what this is. Just the video here. There's our motor, nice and ready. And we take this band off, we put it on the new motor, and we're done. Okay, my friends, we're all back in there now. Got our little plate clip back in there. I should have showed you that, but uh, if you don't know, you might be taking those little screws on the bottom apart trying to pull this thing out. Uh, but no, you just take that one 516 screw out and that bar pulls out. It's like uh, just kind of a dowel that holds it in there. But anyways, uh, we got our new fan motor and capacitor. I uh, started it and ran, you know, tested it, ran, no problem. Uh, it's got this capacitor secured over here. Uh, we ended up having to put a new belly band on here because uh, the old one would, uh, the motor, the old motor was uh, from this way towards the evap coil, evap coil it was shorter. Uh, and it was at the end of its adjustment already. So we bought a new band, relocated it, new capacitor, and uh, pretty sure it's blowing the right way, but if not, it's reversible. So I'll put the panel back on and make it go over to the return grill and make sure it's it's sucking. Uh, and if it's not, then we just swap those two bad boys and we're in business. But, uh, so that's how you change a fan motor on a package uh, water source heat pump. There you go. Note the zip ties for professionalism. You don't have to do that, but everything pretty when I'm done. Okay, have a nice day y'all.